Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about Appendix Ultrasound Probe Positioning. On the left side is a schematic diagram showing ultrasound probe position. These dotted lines are the right and left coastal margins. This round structure is the umbilicus. This white box is the ultrasound probe. And this red dot is the indicator or the orientation marker. And on the right side is the image formed when we place the probe in this manner. The appendix has a variable location in the right lower quadrant. Use a high frequency linear probe with a frequency between 7 to 12 megahertz. In patients with a larger body habitus, use lower frequencies and you can even use a curvy linear probe. You can start by placing the probe lateral to the umbilicus in transverse orientation. In case of suspected appendicitis, Place the probe over the area of tenderness. This helps in locating the appendix much faster. The patient can help you in placing the probe over the area of maximal tenderness. But this method is not always reliable. Next, apply graded compression to displace bowel gases and locate the psoas muscle by keeping the probe in this manner. You will find the psoas muscle around here and this is the dirty shadowing due to bowel gases and you can also see some bowel loops. Move the probe laterally to the right of the patient to locate the cecum. Here we can see the abdominal muscles in cross section, the external oblique, internal oblique, and transversus muscles. And below these muscles, we can see the cecum. It is filled with gas and gives us dirty posterior shadowing. The cecum will not have peristaltic movements whereas the small bowel will have peristaltic movements that is how you can distinguish a cecum from a small bowel move the probe down towards the end of the cecum this is done to make sure we thoroughly examine right lower quadrant and it helps us in locating the appendix if it is not found up till this point. Both the cecum and the appendix have variable location. Move downwards and medially to locate the iliac vessels. This is the iliac vessel. This will be the image formed. Examine the medial and lateral aspects of the cecum. Usually the appendix is found near the psoas muscle and the iliac vessels. Adjust the probe accordingly like this near the umbilicus until you find a target shaped non-compressible structure. This will be the appendix. The appendix can be distinguished from the small bowel by seeing the compressibility. The small bowel is compressible when we apply probe pressure, but the appendix is not compressible when we apply probe pressure. The appendix gives a target sign appearance in transverse view. Here is another image 
in the same location with slight adjustment of the probe we can see the appendix the tubular shape of the appendix right here it is near the iliac vessel after locating the appendix in transverse view slowly rotate the probe 90 degrees clockwise to scan in longitudinal plane this is the image of the appendix in longitudinal plane this tubular structure is the appendix slightly adjust the probe in this area to scan the end of the appendix as well here we can see the blind end of the appendix this is the expected location of the appendix it has a variable location in different patients so there is no fixed location for the appendix the proposition and the location of the appendix shown in this video is for the location that is most commonly found and it showed a normal appendix an inflamed appendix is much easier to locate and scan thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos